Hello, welcome to the tender of the locomotive Enio number 22. The tender is a small car that travels along with a locomotive that carries the fuel. The fuel is the product that's burnt in the steam locomotive to make heat, to boil the water, to push on the pistons, and to make the locomotive go down the track. 150 years ago, and a little bit longer, fuel was predominantly wood. There were areas where there wasn't a lot of wood, like Kansas, and the innovative people there burnt dried cow pies. People on the East Coast, notably the Northeast Coast, discovered a black rock that burnt and made a lot more heat per pound than wood, and we call that coal. Sometime later, Mr. Drake discovered oil in Pennsylvania, and oil became a popular fuel to burn in a locomotive. So the whole thing comes down to burning a product in a locomotive to go for a ride. This locomotive burns wood. It was designed to burn wood. It was converted to oil sometime during its life. We changed it back to burn wood. It's traditional. So we have here wood. Um, this is historically inaccurate. Wood that was burnt on the Comstock when this locomotive was running up and down the tracks in the late 1800s, burnt wood that was in four foot length. This is stove length. Locomotives don't care how long the stick is. It takes more power and man uh, hours to cut a piece of wood into a small piece like this that fits in the stove. So we should be burning four foot long sticks. We're burning what is available locally to the locomotive. There's predominantly softwoods, pines and firs, up in the hills above Carson City and in and around Virginia City. Pine and fir have relatively little heat per pound. Hardwoods have more heat per pound. And oil has even more heat per pound than that. And that's an important factor in choosing a fuel if you have a choice. Here on the Comstock, they didn't really have a choice. They had pine and fir. Pine and fir are a good fuel for a locomotive if you have a lot of it. It burns very rapidly. It liberates all of its heat energy out in a very short period of time. This means that you can make a lot of heat in a very short period of time. And if you're done using it, it doesn't sit around and burn for another 15 or 20 minutes after you've thrown it in. It is consumed very rapidly. The question that comes up often is, wouldn't we be better off burning a hardwood like oak or hickory or ash? The answer is no. Those are poor fuels for locomotives. They make a lot of heat, but they make it over a much longer period of time. They do not burn rapidly. To uh, enhance the rate of burning, you would take a big piece, which has a certain volume and a certain surface area, and you would make it small, more surface area for the same volume. The fire is on the surface of the wood. You can get a lot more heat out more rapidly, consume your fuel quicker, and get more energy out and accelerate faster. The problem is you have to spend a long time throwing a lot of little pieces in, so if you don't need the little pieces, you're going to burn the big pieces. So when we throw a piece of solid fuel, and wood and coal are solid fuels, burned in locomotives, when we throw a piece of solid fuel into a boiler to burn, a number of interesting things happen before it burns. The first thing is it has to warm up to the temperature of combustion. So if you have a fire in a boiler, and you think you need to throw a lot of wood in because you're running out of steam, and you throw a lot of wood, or coal for that matter, in, the fire will actually cool down ever so slightly before it starts to make heat. As the wood warms, the volatiles in the wood, the wood alcohols, the turpentines, the pitches and sundry, will boil off and burn first. They're pretty volatile. They burn quickly. It comes out in a hurry. Uh, makes a little bit of smoke. That's the smoke. Once you get those away from the wood, all you're left with is carbon, and the carbon is mixing with the oxygen, making carbon dioxide, liberating a little bit of heat. And you can tell how your fire is by looking at the stack. So if you're rolling down the track and you throw a handful of wood in, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to get a cloud of smoke. And as soon as the smoke clears up, and it may take several minutes, depending upon how much wood you threw in and how hard you're working the locomotive, 
As soon as the wood clears, the smoke clears up, the wood is up to combustion temperature and is burning fiercely. If you're working on a hill and hauling a heavy train up that hill, it's a good time to throw in some more wood because there's a lot of heat in there. So firing is an art, among other things, and it, it requires a lot of vigilance to do it well and properly.